Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Watch Young Hills is brought to you by Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in Somerville. He's he's obviously a dad, but he's more of a coach. And then um, he gives the dad speeches, and um, after the game we hug it out, and that's when he's a dad. But on the field, I see him as a coach, and um, I think that's how you have to see it. Football and family go hand in hand, but sometimes football is family, and that is certainly the case at Watch Young Hills. Head coach Rich Soybert and his son Hunter, a four-year varsity starter, share the sidelines on Friday nights. Uh, we're a football family, and um, we love football. We love athletics. We love being a student athlete. And, um, you know, the way he handles himself on the football field, I expect the same thing in the classroom with, with all my kids and with, with all 90 of them, right? New York Giants fans will recognize Warriors head coach Rich Soybert. He started 88 games over nine seasons with Big Blue, and was a starting offensive guard on the Giants' 2007 Super Bowl championship team. Soybert landed in Warren, New Jersey, and coaching became his next journey. 2022 marks his seventh season at Watchung Hills. I respect all my coaches a hell of a lot more. I text Coach Coughlin pretty much weekly right now. He wants to know how we're doing. Uh, coach Flaherty, the old, my old line coach, that's helping out Rutgers. Um, I love my coaches. I've always had good coaches. I want these kids to have good coaches. I want these kids to have the experience and the opportunity to be successful. Through years of growing and training, Hunter Soybert has become one of the program's most successful players. Like his dad, Hunter moves bodies off the line at center and guard, but he'll also go into attack mode on the defensive side. The love for the game and natural ability is all there. Kids having role models and somebody to look up to in the game of football means a lot. And He's been in the office with me, the locker room with me, watching film with me since he's been four years old. So uh, he gets the game, he's smart, he understands it, he can make adjustments on the field for us. Um, I'm proud of him, I really am. I don't think I say that enough. Um, he's always there doing football stuff, and I don't think you can get better pointers or tips from anyone else. He's, he's been in high school, been in college, played in the pros, was successful in the pros, and um, he knows it all. And there's no, no, better, no better coach and dad to have than, than him. Wachung Hills is headed to the New Jersey State playoffs with a 7-2 record. It's their best regular season finish in Soybert's tenure. Excitement around the program is growing with every game. I just want everybody to play well and do good, right? And the more kids you have that put the effort in and the energy into football, the better you're going to be. And the people have been great. Um, this, the community is starting to support us really well. Um, it just, it's just a great vibe in Wachung Hills. And However, 2022 signals the end of an era for the Soybert family. This is the last season Rich will coach Hunter, who graduates high school in the spring. Something they've shared since the Pop Warner days has left an indelible mark. That's just, that's just how he is, that's the type of guy he is. Growing up in a small town in Wisconsin, um, never got ahead of himself, just kept working. That's just how he is and um, always looking for the next week and um, never complacent in the past and always looking to be better. And that's what he's installed in me and my brother and my sister. And um, I think it's just a great thing. I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.